fresh fried potatoes, red ripe tomatoes. I ain't never satisfied. I want the frim fram sauce that I'll fed. Chef Bye Bye on the side. Robert Small's Jump Cooking Show is on the air. We're here today at Isola Lodge in Linville with Jeff Johnson of Johnson's Bakery in Fosco, North Carolina. That's between Boone and Banner Elk, and it's so good to have you with us today. It's good to be here, Robert. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, your mom, Dorothy, made this cap for me. I told you I wanted one like yours. It's just a real honor to have that. What are you going to fix for us today? I'm going to make blueberry muffins. It's, Fabulous. Uh, it's something that we get a lot of requests for, and people wonder how come theirs don't turn out like mine. So see if we can't correct that. Here. All right, here we go. What do you do first, sir? Okay, this is one pound of flour. Um, I recommend that you do use weights rather than volume measurements. Um, if you don't have a scale, then this is a little over three cups of flour. Time to buy a scale at the yes. Country Gourmet. Now to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. Okay five teaspoons of baking powder. All right. Add a cup of sugar. And then I'm gonna whisk that up to mix it in real good. All right, I'll help you do that. Do that? Yeah. Okay. Um, then I have two large eggs. You wanna make sure they're large. Woohoo! Some fancy egg breaking here on Robert Smosio and And this show. is half a cup of canola oil and one and a half cups of regular whole milk. And to that, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Oh man, no wonder your blueberry muffins are fabulous. Got vanilla. Yes, now let me put these in here. Oh, right um, into now, the Now a dry. lot of times mm -hmm. you will see the recommendation that you put the blueberries or the other fruit into the mix after you've already added the wets to the dries. Uh -huh. I like to do it this way because it coats uh -huh. the uh, coats of blueberries so they don't fall to the bottom. Oh yeah. And also if you pre-mix it like this then you have to mix it less once the wets are added in there and it makes for a less tough muffin. Oh good okay, point. Next yes. I'm gonna just whisk these together to mix. All right. And you want to get the oil and the, and the milk mixed up real well. Oh yeah, and that's whole milk. Whole milk. Mm -hmm. All right. And then just add these right together. Okay, and then you're going to fold that in. Then I'm going to fold that in. Now, gotcha. the folding technique is the real key to making muffins because what you want to do is get everything mixed in Yes. Um, as quickly as possible, but you don't want to over mix the muffins. That's what makes them tough. So what you're doing on this is just take your spatula and fold plunge it right down through the middle, and bring it up and scrape the side, and then just flip it back over. Uh -huh. Turn the bowl about a quarter turn, and do that again. Oh. And just keep doing that. Can you overwork uh, the biscuit mix? Y you can, and what will happen is that they will get tough, they'll get what you call tunnels, little kind of worm holes that mm -hmm. go, through the, go through the muffin. Mm -hmm. And so you just want to do it until the last trace of flour disappears. Every now and then you want to go around and clean off the sides of the bowl. Oh yeah. I, I can tell by your technique you've done this once or twice. Once or twice. <laughs> yes. A very popular place, Johnson's Bakery. Every time I'm in there visiting with you, you've got people coming in. They want your products. You have, uh, uh, besides the scones that we're going to do today and the biscuits, you have some other... Uh, yeah, we do a full range of breads. Do French breads, do some sort of American soft-style, soft-crusted breads. Yes. Um, do breakfast items, you muffins, got the baguettes. scones. We have baguettes. You got the uh, uh, sticky buns. It has pecan sticky buns that are You're just You're going to want to go to just unbelievable. Bank. Yeah, no doubt. Those sticky buns are fab. Okay. And and then your focaccia bread. I've the seen focaccia that. Focaccia bread that. I do on Thursdays and uh -huh. um, we have several different toppings on that and that's a, it makes a, a nice little lunch. Yes, very much so. Uh, so uh, while you're getting ready to put this in there, tell us about your hours of operation. On Friday, Thursday and Friday we're open till 5. The other days we're open till 3. All right. You're going to want to go to Johnson's Bakery. Look at these. I mean, these look good enough to eat and they haven't been baked yet. <laughs> what temperature will you use, sir? Now, this, if you have a convection oven, bake these at 350. Okay, you, most uh, just, people don't. If you just have a conventional, then you want to bring it up to 400 degrees. Ah. And then you want to scrape the bowl to get all the, all the good stuff all out. All the good. Mm -hmm. And that's a nice uh, technique you've got there with that ice cream scoop. Yeah, and this is... Uh, they have numbers, I never know what they are. This is a green handled scoop that you can get at a restaurant supply store. You can get it at Country Gourmet, I know, I bought one there before. So once you've got these in here, you're gonna add some powdered sugar? No, this is just regular granulated sugar and oh, you just wanna sprinkle lightly over the top 
and what this does is give them a nice sort of shiny crust and adds a little bit of sweetness. Just a light sprinkle over the top. Oh yeah. And then these go into the oven. Yes. 400 degrees, 350 if you have a convection. They will take about a little over 15 minutes to check to bake. So start checking right around 15 minutes. I know one thing. We're going to be having some most we yum. We are. These are going to definitely be muffins. most yum blueberry muffins. We'll be right back. Okay. Gadabouts, full service catering, you do it all, don't you? We can do anything. If we want to go simple, we can start with our fabulous hickory smoked barbecue that we cook ourselves eight to ten hours. Or we can go to something elegant as uh, grilled lobster tails, Ooh. filet mignon. Ooh. We uh, have our own linens, china. Uh, we can provide tables that everything you need. We try to find out what you know someone's looking for, and we tailor a menu to that. So it's a it's a custom arranged experience. Yes, sir. Uh, have food, we'll travel. <laughs> The Country Gourmet of Fosco is the place to find wonderful gifts and the finest cookware. Dishes, silverware, candles, clocks, and many surprises. Even those hard-to-find items that you can't get anywhere else. Gifts for him, gifts for her, gifts for anyone who enjoys special things. For more than 30 years, the Country Gourmet has been a must-see stop in the high country, so don't miss it. Visit the Country Gourmet weekdays 10 to 5 and Sundays noon to 5. The Country Gourmet of Fosco, where kitchens meet creativity. Come to the historic Skyline Village Inn, a comfortable lodge with rustic accommodations, spectacular views, and a unique history. Use our beautiful new conference room for meetings, banquets, special events, and parties. The Skyline Wine and Beer Shop has the area's best selection of beer and wine. The Skyline Cavern Tavern is a complete restaurant featuring great food, thick juicy steaks, seafood, vegetarian fare, and mixed drinks. We're located close to home at milepost 331 on the Blue Ridge Parkway in the junctions of 226 and 226A. Hello, I'm Pat Parks. And I'm Dave Parks. Welcome to Distinctive Cabinetry and Design. We're located at Shops at Twin Rivers in Fosco. Whether it is a kitchen, bath, home office, library, or entertainment area, we at Distinctive Cabinetry and Design understand that we are creating more than just rooms. We will work with you to develop a design that fits your specific needs and tastes. So stop by and visit us and our staff at the most beautiful and complete cabinetry showroom in the high country. Welcome back to Robert's Most Yum Cooking Show. Jeff Johnson from Johnson's Bakery is now gonna make for us scones. What's the difference between a scone and a biscuit as you're putting the ingredients in, sir? Um, a scone has sugar. This is half, I have a pound of uh, all-purpose flour in here. I'm gonna add in half a cup of regular granulated sugar. Um, and that's one of the big differences. Biscuits tend not to have any sugar. Mm -hmm. Scones have sugar and eggs, so they're a, sort of a sweetened biscuit. Oh, yeah. Um, I see you make everything from scratch here on the show. Yes. I bet you do in your baking. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. This is four teaspoons of baking powder. All right. And you use organic ingredients in your restaurant? Um, to, to the greatest extent possible, particularly with the bread. Some of the other things, eggs and butter, a bit hard to do with organics. Oh, yes. Now this is half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. Use organic ingredients in your bakery? Um, to the greatest extent possible, particularly with the bread flour, I use organic King Arthur flour. Oh yeah, So yes. good high quality Very much organic so. flour. So you just want to mix that around until it gets thoroughly mixed in. Okay. And then we're going to add in um, a stick of butter cubed up. Oh yeah. And you've chilled that. I have. Yes. So show everybody what that looks like. Okay, and this I have, uh, I put it in the freezer. You cubed sure it before nice you put it in the freezer, right. yes. And just put it in there to make sure it's nice and cold. Oh yeah, such and a difference. Mm -hmm. You want to mix this until you get the texture pretty much of sort of a coarse cornmeal. Oh, yeah. But you want to leave some chunks of butter. Those are going to help the scones be, be flaky. Oh yeah. Uh, what's the origin of a scone? Is that... It's uh, yep. Scottish. Yeah, there's a there's a little town in Scotland called Schoon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, and you want to use really cold butter, um, otherwise it just gets kind of mixed into a paste, and the scones end up hard like rocks. Oh yes. So if you keep the cold, butter cold and you don't mix it in all the way, so there's still some nice big chunks, yes. then that will make them flaky and light. All oh, right. Okay, and Check this is that about out. this is about the way you want it. Yes. Um, you can see that it's sort of a crumbly cornmeal texture, but there's some nice big chunks of butter like that. Oh, yeah. And that will make for nice, flaky, light scones. All right. Okay. All right, I'll put this back in there. You're going to add the other ingredients? Now, the next thing, we're going to add one egg. Okay. 
And to that, this is three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. This is the grated zest of one lemon. The zest uh, being the that's outer skin just again. the outer part. You don't want to put in any of the white part because right, that, that's bitter. bitter. Yeah. That's bitter. Um, this is the juice of the same lemon. Oh yeah. Minus the seeds, of course. Yes. Um, then half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Ah, oh, that vanilla. Yeah. And half a teaspoon of lemon extract. Oh, lemon extract. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we're just going to whisk this around. Get those mixed up nice and well. All right. I see you've done that once or twice. A couple uh, of times. How long have you been in the baking business? Um, I've been doing it about nine years. Yes. Okay, and then just on slow speed. Okay. Just want to put pour that in. Yeah. And on this, you just want to mix until it comes together. Oh yeah.